Well, a dangerous roadway in Bibb County has residents demanding officials take action to make it safer. People who live off of Eisenhower Parkway in Lizella say accidents happen on that stretch of highway too often. Plans are in the works to deter speeding in the area, but so far there's been nothing done. 41 NBC's Amanda Castro tells us one county leader says just give it time, while residents say that's a luxury they don't have. Car accidents, fatal crashes, even the occasional fender bender, all too common on the stretch of Eisenhower Parkway heading towards Lizella. State officials know it's a problem and are working to make the roadway safer. Residents say it's taking too long and it's only a matter of time until the next crash happens. A quiet stretch of road haunted by memories of car crashes. I've been living here for 10 years. I've seen some god awful wrecks up here. Seems like there's an accident once a month over here. This is an all too common sight for residents who live off Eisenhower Parkway in Lizella. Drivers speeding down the road, cars dangerously passing other vehicles, and a fender bender we drove up on Wednesday morning. We've had problems there for many years and it's really getting worse as the day goes by. Bibb County is working with the Georgia Department of Transportation to install two roundabouts at the intersections of Knoxville and Holly Roads and a red light is going up at the Fulton Mill Road intersection, the same spot where a woman died two months ago. Those three intersections out there in Lizella are something that's has to be taken care of as soon as possible. Plans to put a roundabout here at this intersection have been in the works for more than a year and officials say it just takes time. But people who live around here believe something needs to be done now. I don't know whether it be the roundabout be the right thing to do. I actually think a light would be the right thing. Something can be done and they're not doing anything about it. Nothing's been done yet. The state is listening. Now it's time for action. I'm sorry it's taken so long for this to happen. To, to get what we finally have been needing for, for years out there. We've lost some life out there. I don't want to see anybody else lose their life. Commissioner Allen says the county commissioners plan to talk about the new red light at the Fulton Mill intersection during next week's committee meetings. He hopes we'll start to see action taken on these new safety measures within the next three months.